Hey guys, how's it going? Now there are several apps on your iOS device that require a background refresh, you know, like Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. But there are cases when background refresh just does not work on your iPhone. And in that case, the app in itself does not function properly. Now, how do you fix that problem? That's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, we'll be talking about five of the easiest fixes to this very problem. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is actually enable background refresh from the app settings. To do that, open the settings app on the iPhone and then scroll down to the affected app and then tap on it. From the following menu, you will find all the relevant setting options for the app. Just enable background app refresh toggle. Now go ahead, put the app in multitasking menu and see if it's working fine or not. Now another thing that you can try is to update the app. It's possible that some bugs might be preventing you from using background refresh and just updating the app to its latest version might fix the issue for you. Open the app store and tap on the profile icon in the top right corner. Go to your account and update the affected app to the latest stable version. Now notice how I said latest stable version. See, I know a lot of you guys out there like to use test flight to test out beta versions of certain apps. Well, that sounds great. I mean, I personally do that too. It also means that you will face unwanted issues, bugs, basically. I mean, that's what beta builds are for. But anyway, the whole point here is that if you really want the background refresh problem to go away, it's better to just move on to the stable version. To do that, open the test flight app and move to the app that's unable to perform background tasks. Scroll down and select stop testing. And now open the app store and download the stable version of the app. Another simple fix to all of this can be just resetting your settings. No, I'm not saying resetting the whole device, just the settings because there is a factor that you might have changed some setting here and there and that might be affecting. Now, rather than finding what individual setting you might have mistakenly changed, it's just better to just reset all the settings to the default values to ensure that everything works fine. To do that, open the settings app on the iPhone and then navigate to general and then reset. Now select reset all settings from the following menu and that's it. It'll just reset all of the settings of your iPhone and background refresh should now be working. Now lastly, what you can do is just update your iOS version. I know there are people out there who still prefer using outdated versions of iOS because they're used to that. And while that's fine, that also means that you're using incompatible versions of apps. So yeah, there is going to be a mismatch and obviously some settings won't work. So yeah, the best way out is to just update your iOS. To update the iOS software, just go to the settings app on the iPhone and open general, then tap on software update and update your device to the latest version. Now here's a bonus step for you, which is well more of a temporary solution. So I did not include it in the main list. Basically, well, if background refresh is not working for you and you really need an app to well, ensure that it's functioning properly, you can just keep it open in the foreground. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but here's the thing. For instance, if you're trying to upload photos to your Google Photos backup, keeping that in the background would really pause the upload. However, if you keep the Google Photos app open, it not only ensures that your upload, well, actually go continues, it also ensures that your upload speeds are at the highest. So yeah, I know that's a temporary solution, but that might just come in handy in a one-off case. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Alon from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.